that's what maybe money for. Welcome back to the channel folks. As I said in my previous video, I've travelled down the east coast of Australia, right down around the bottom to Victoria. I'm now in East Gippsland, a place called Lake Tyres. Just another estuary system. It's my younger brother's been fishing at a few times, so we're hoping to catch a few flathead fish, which tastes beautiful or brim. So we'll see how we get on with that. You can already see a lot of ocean mullet jumping in the water. You might be able to hear or see them as we get along here. Weather-wise, lovely and cool. Really nice change. Only only about 17 degrees at the moment, maybe 15. A bit of a breeze every now and then, but no sweat, no heat. Really nice change, I must admit, even though it is summer. So we're heading down to a camp spot, and we've got Mark Don Guy that Steve's been to a few times. Steve's off at his own YouTube channel, Dirt Bike ADV. And so we've got that one marked, and we'll see how we get on with that. But if not, we'll just find a wild camp somewhere. So there is um, what they call State Park here as well on my left. So um, we have to be a little bit cheesy about where we camp so that we can have a campfire. Because it's going to be a lovely cool night tonight. So really looking forward to that. Conditions out on the water at the moment though. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to get up around this bend here and I'll um, chuck the lure in. Steve's been good enough to uh, get me some of the latest state-of-the-art lures. It's a thing called a double clutch lure, so we'll see how that gets on. And he's also uh, given me a Christmas present of a landing net. So, we're now sorted. We've got a 20 pound leader on the line, and we've got a landing net. So, hopefully, if we catch a fish this time, we'll be able to get it into the boat, which would be nice, or into the canoe. So, we'll see how we get on. So guys, this is the kayak he's bought, just a second hand one, an Intex Excursion Pro. I think we're doing the job. That's enough gear for a quick overnight camp. Just along the water knife, he's just doing a bit of trawling at the moment. But his uh, theory is he's got a uh, dual cab utility. He wants to uh, be able to have something and just roll up and put in the back of that, as opposed to tying a canoe or a kayak to the roof. And so far, it's actually worked out quite well. Like a lot of these things, they're a bit hard into the wind. It catches the wind at the nose, but outside of that, downwind as we're going at the moment, actually works quite well. So he's just um, organised some different seating systems for it. He's actually put a bit of, bit of timber across the actual uh, pontoons on the side. Just to give himself a bit of height, make it a bit more easier on the hips and the legs, and that's worked out really well. So yeah, I think we're on a winner here. Beautiful and serene out here, guys. See that Ooh, one? Yeah. How grey they are? Yes. Not sure if you saw that on the camera, guys. Big mullet just jumping out of the water. They're just doing it all around us. Story goes, they're almost impossible to catch. No one's been able to work out how to catch these uh, ocean mullet. They come in here chasing the little bait fish on the surface. We see them wiggling through the water and jumping out of the water. But apparently, they're all but impossible to catch. So, very interesting. We're about 12 to 18 inches long, or 300 to 400 mil long. And as we discussed earlier when we got in the canoes, it would be a really good sporting fish to catch though, because they're obviously very agile and strong swimmers, so they'd be great fun on the rod on the light line. guys, nice little brim. Just let me breathe in the water here, put some pliers out. A little out of him. This is where the um, pliers and the vest will be good. That's a nice little brim, mate. It's a beauty, isn't it? Come 
that's not a little brim, that's a nice brim. Well done. Everything's caught in the net, of course. Mm -hmm. The trick for young players. Jesus bloody Christ. Just um, unhook that load up all, get your fish out and do your trophy thing. Hold it up to the camera. <laughs> I'm getting the body back there. Come on, little fella. And do not jump out of the boat. There we go, guys. That's what we've been money for. Is that size? Tell me if it's not. Bearing it back if it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is for today, mate. Well done. You sure? Yeah, it is for today. Well, we're about half an hour out of camp. Coming to a beautiful big deep hole here. No wind. Just lovely conditions. Much cooler down here on the Victorian coastline. Probably only about... 16, 17 degrees at the moment, really nice conditions. Nice to be paddling without getting sunburnt, humidity and so forth. But this blow up bathtub's working well, still vertical, which is good. No punctures. So, nothing to complain about, guys. It's nice. I was chatting earlier about the fish, we're probably going to make it into a bit of an entree. But they bought some salt and vinegar chips, so we'll crush those up and cook them up in the frying pan, should be nice. And it's going to be a great night for a campfire, so really looking forward to that. Okay guys, so the special recipe is salt and vinegar chips, crushed up in the packet. A little bit of egg, salt and vinegar chips, into the frying pan. Not too shabby. Looking good. Campsite's nice. Then up top here, beautiful. Canoes and kayaks just down the bottom here, and it is a gorgeous night. Lovely and cool for the summertime in Victoria. And old Stephen the chef is cooking away. Beautiful job. Okay, no more from the fishing adventure, so we'll have a bit of steak and salad. Got some lovely grass-fed scotch fillet, guys. This should be beautiful. We'll have that with a bit of salad. Just getting a little bit of rain at the moment. Just getting a little bit of rain at the moment, that's okay. We shall survive, as they say. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we've got the steakhouse style salad kit. This should be perfect for steak. Get that organised. Get that flavour sachet out. Oh, we've even got croutons. Look at that. Excellent. Alright guys, looking pretty good here. Just add some of this sauce, which we think might just be like an aioli. That's alright. And we are good to go as they say. We'll chat to you after dinner. Can you believe this? It's Gary Gourmet guys. <laughs> Breakfast oh. coffee. Mind you, not complaining, bacon and eggs for brekkie. 
just put the camera a bit closer, mate. I couldn't see past the uh, edge rock that came out the front there. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. Friggin' coffee grinder. Guys, just have a listen to the grunting and the moaning that goes on here as he fills up his little um, <coughs> toy kayak. <laughs> there it was. <coughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Been a lazy morning out of camp, quarter past nine. Plan was to do some fishing this morning, but instead we're gonna do a bit of fishing on the way back, so that should be great fun. If I can get Captain Grunt organized here, we'll be away. Oh, well, he's still tied to my craft, I've noticed. I think he must be towing back. Well, we just pulled into a little uh, corner in the river here. My younger brother calls the Flathead Flats. A nice flat sandy area. Just change lures to a little um, lead head prawn. I'm just sort of bouncing him across the bottom, see if we can pick something up. And no real life. Steve's up just walking up and down the banks, casting it as well, still using the little um, jewel clutch. Little orangey coloured lure, hard body with a bib. Out to the deeper part of the channel here, we just sort of fish down each side of the bank, but still nothing. Almost 12 o'clock, so you can it maybe a bit too um, long time of the day. And also, with lack of sunshine, it's probably not getting down deep enough into the water column to be able to see the lure, so that's all right. Beautiful weather for fishing, though, it's just really nice temperature. So nice to be out in the water. Yeah, that's not I don't that. Well, it's the middle of the day, so we're heading home now. No more fish, but that's great. We um, still got a couple of fish overnight, which was fantastic. Finally get to do a bit of a catch and cook, which is very nice, I must admit. Really great to be able to at least catch one fish. But yeah, beautiful part of the world. Really lovely conditions coming home now. Gonna head back to the cars, pack ourselves up, head back to my younger brother's place. Gonna be down there for about a week. Might do another one or two adventures while we're there. We'll see how we go. But thanks for coming along for this adventure. Appreciate all your support, and I'll see you in two weeks' time. Bye for now.
You'll have to excuse the uh, ignoramus paddling like a bloody steamboat up here. Huff, puff, huff, puff, slap, 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 huff, puff, huff, puff, slap, slap.